Oh, it is always a great day when our friend Ina Garden mm -hmm. comes to 1A. Ah, yes. She's a best-selling author of 13 cookbooks and the host of Food Network's Be My Guest. She's also a national treasure who's become iconic far beyond the food world. And now she's doing something kind of out of her comfort zone. She has written a memoir. It's got a great title. It's coming this fall. Be ready when the luck happens. Oh. Ina, good morning. I'm so happy to be uh, here. You know, everybody's been wanting you to tell your story mm -hmm. for a long time. What made you decide that this was the right moment? Well, for a long time, I thought, who would be interested in my story? Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. And, a, and a friend said to me, she said, somebody's going to write your story and it should be you. And I thought, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. So we started on it. And, um, and she helped me kind of bring me to places that I'd forgotten. And it was, it turned out to be a really when did you interesting start? experience. Like four it's years like four ago? Four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long yeah. journey, huh? It's a long journey. And she would take me to like the place in Washington where I decided to leave Washington mm -hmm. and said, put yourself on the steps with Jeffrey having the conversation about leaving him in Washington oh, and you oh moving on. And did I was stuff like, back to you that you had forgotten? I lost it, completely lost oh. it. I was like, I have to go back to the hotel. Wow. And you when I woke up, I realized I was really unhappy in Washington. I'd oh. forgotten. Oh my God. Wow. Completely you, forgotten. You kept all of Jeffrey's love letters? He, he gave, he, he wrote to me like every day wow. when he was in college and then when he was in the military and I put them oh all in gosh. a box. And, and I had that as a record. It was really quite yeah, extraordinary. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us about the title of this of this book, Be Ready When the Luck Happens. Well, I think a lot, I, I, I always thought that I was really lucky. Yeah. But as I look back, I started to realize that I'd actually done a lot of the work. I taught mm. myself how to cook. I built houses. I, I built things. And, um, and that I had... I did it because I love doing it, mm -hmm. but um, it, I realized when it came to be, the, I was lucky that I saw an ad for business for sale and that I was ready. Yeah. It wasn't that I was just lucky. I was ready when mm -hmm. it happened. Mm -hmm. What did Jeffrey think about the book? The manuscript. What does he, <laughs> he think about it? He read it in the last form before it went to the publisher, and he sat down at 1.30 in the afternoon thinking, I'll read for a few hours, and I'll read. He didn't get up until he finished it at 7.30 mm. that night. Wow, wow. So lovely. Did you write I, another love letter after it? Did I, it re-inspire him? <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, bringing him snacks so he didn't starve to death. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Writing memoir is really hard. I mean, you, you got to... Go there on a lot. Did did stuff come back that you had forgotten? What was it like to kind of go through the? Well, there were things that I I thought never happened, but um, it, they were in the letters. Mm. Wow! And it made us realize that oh yeah, that's right, that did mm. happen. One of your superpowers is that you just when we watch you on TV, you make everything look so easy mm. but it hasn't always been so easy in your life. What is something that in your life you've written about in this book that might surprise people? Um, I think shifting gears was scary. I think I, I was, you know, I jumped off a few cliffs <laughs> thinking, how is this going to work out? But it never would have happened if I hadn't. Yeah. So I think that having the courage to take to the do, risk to do scary things yeah. is really what kind of propelled my story. We've got to talk so. about Be My Guest while you're here. Yeah. yeah. This, and, this season's you know, lineup. A lot of people think I've chosen people because they're famous. I've chosen people that have really taken risks. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, writing this book made me appreciate that um, people like Jennifer Garner, yeah. I mean, just take incredible risks um, every day. She lives her life publicly, but mm -hmm. she's um, committed to um, doing a really good job, and she does it no matter what happens. We have a clip. Let's take a look at a clip yeah. of Jennifer Garner. She's a great friend and wonderful woman. Your beef bourguignon is our traditional Christmas Eve oh, meal or yeah. Christmas night meal, either way. And I double it because yeah. everyone in the family has to have it. So I double the cognac. And I poured this huge amount of cognac on top. And it started on fire? Mm-hmm. Make sure when you add the cognac to turn the stove off. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Chip. Wow, that's a pro tip. Oh, right yeah. Yeah. She wasn't wrong for doubling the cognac, right? No, she wasn't wrong for it. She did it exactly right, but you want to turn the fire yeah. off if you oh, put that I much you cognac in. you knew exactly in. what happened. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and this actually, Jennifer told me about her grandmother's cornbread, and I thought, well, I'm going to make her even better cornbread. Oh, so, my God. So, that's, God. This so what happens that. on the show? I mean, do you have to be a foodie? Do you, know, do you have to know how to cook? Asking for no, a friend that not wants a, to come not on. A, <laughs> You are, you you are totally, the risks, Savannah. It's, it's yeah. really, it's important to me, like, how people um, um, navigate their careers. Yeah. So, like, what walls did they hit? How oh did God. they have the courage to say, no, I don't want to do it that way? 
to people who try and pull him off their game. Yeah. So David Remnick took over The New Yorker, the oh. literary magazine, had never edited anything, been a journalist and writer. It was losing $11 million oh. a year. Oh, my God. And he, so he used to be a businessman and an editor. Exactly. Yeah. And he just did it brilliantly. And mm. the, just the courage to say, I can do this, was just extraordinary. This is not a crumbly uh, cornbread that I grew up with. Ever? Oh. This is like a piece of cake. It's like angel food. What are you talking about? This oh. is not cornbread. What is in the center of this? <laughs> this, this is, is like, like cake. This is what, like a cake. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.